you learn more about waves, you need to learn some of the key terminology. And first of all, in order to think about the interference of waves, uh, which is basically the process of uh, points forming when two coherent waves pass through each another, through one another, we need to think about the word coherent or coherence. So waves are coherent when we have two wave sources or more that uh, emit waves of the constant phase difference. So that means then we need to know about the word phase difference. Phase difference is the fraction of a cycle between the oscillations of two particles. And if we think about that in a bit more detail, I did do this with the, the wave jelly baby machine as well. If we think about perhaps two points at the top, they have a constant phase difference. If we think about um, maybe different colors of light, perhaps red light with a long wavelength and blue light with a shorter wavelength, these two do not have a constant phase difference because uh, this one here has a longer wavelength and therefore these two would not be a coherent source of light. In order for light to be coherent, it must have uh, the same wavelength, which then means it's got the same color. Now there's one other thing that you need to know about, which is something called path difference. Now this is similar to phase difference because they have a P to begin with, but the difference is that phase difference is measured in degrees or perhaps radians, path difference is measured, because it's a path, it's a length, this is measured in metres or fractions of a wavelength. This is equal to the difference in the distance travelled by two coherent waves from two different sources at a particular point. So we might have a source of waves A emitting uh, light, we got uh, maybe perhaps point B emitting light. Again, these maybe have the same wavelength and a constant phase difference. But if we look at point over here, each of these will have traveled a different number of wavelengths to get there, perhaps four for this one and five for that one. And that really is what we need to, to understand as we start to explain uh, some effects using two slits and also diffraction gratings. The important thing about path difference is that if you have waves that have a path difference, of a multiple of the wavelength, what we get is constructive interference because the, the peaks coincide with one another. So we get constructive interference when you have the difference between the paths equal to some multiple of the wavelength. And we can call this n lambda. Now, if there's uh, some other multiple of lambda, then what we then get is destructive interference. So perhaps we've got two sources of waves we then get is destructive interference. And what we then have is we have perfect destructive interference, maybe perhaps where light cancels out other light, when we have n over 2 lambda. So this is where we've got maybe half a wavelength difference or uh, one and a half or two and a half or three and a half. And then we have perfect destructive interference.